All right, everybody, I know how excited you are because it's time for your daily edit. This is our sixth one already. Can you believe it? And editing is really important because we all make mistakes and we find mistakes and we have to go back and edit our work. We have to fix what we did incorrectly the first time. So let's get started. And I don't even need to tell you this. You know what you need, right? You need a piece of paper, just like last time, and a pencil. Hello, happy pencil. And don't forget to write daily edit six and your name at the top. Okay, let's go. We've got three today. Number one, Jimmy lives on Walnut Street. Jimmy lives on Walnut Street. Oh, I wonder what's wrong here. I think you can see a couple of the errors, but there might be something here you don't know. I wonder what it is. Let me see if I can give you a hint. I think you've already found that one. Hmm. Did you know about that? And did you know about that? And that one, I think you figured out. So, what we have here is the first word of a sentence, and it's a proper noun. It's a name. It has to be capitalized. And I'm pretty sure you already got this, right? We need punctuation. We need a period at the end. But did you know that Walnut and Street, or any street name, is also a proper noun and it has to be capitalized? So if you live on Haven Avenue, or Simpson Avenue, or Bay Avenue, or 9th Street, you have to be sure that the name and the street, or the avenue, or the drive, or the road is also capitalized because Walnut Street and Jimmy are both proper nouns. Proper nouns means they are special nouns. They are special things. And they have to have a capital letter. Okay. If you got two of those correct, good job. If you got more than two, wow. Very nicely done. Now I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to show you the red rectangles. Let's see if you can find the errors without the hint. Number two, we need milk, apples, butter, and cheese from Acme. <laughs> so take your time, pause it, write down the bad sentence, and then see what you can figure out. When you're ready, unpause it. Okay, let's see what you were able to do. Hmm. There might be a lot of errors here. Okay. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Well, no problem here. We have our capital letter. We need milk... And we need a comma there, because there's a list coming. We need milk, apples, and it says butter and cheese. And remember, this comma is optional. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't, but it's not necessary. And we're not finished. We need milk apples, butter, and cheese from, oh, Acme. Yes, we have to put a period at the end. And there's still one more. Acme is a proper noun. It's a special place. It's a specific place. So we have to use a capital A here. Now, if the sentence had said, we need milk, apples, butter, and cheese from the supermarket, well, the supermarket is a regular noun. It's just a place. 
It could be Acme, it could be ShopRite, it could be Aldi. We don't know. But Acme is the name of a specific supermarket, so we have to use a capital A, proper noun. Okay. Ooh, if you got, let's say, if you got three of these correct, I would be very, very happy. Okay, if you got them all correct, I think I could use you as my substitute teacher to take over the class. Let's go to one more. I can't believe you eat broccoli with ice cream. I can't believe you eat broccoli with ice cream. Pause it, write the bad sentence down, and see if you can figure out what's wrong. Hmm. I think I've got this. I think I can figure this out. Okay, let's see if you got all of the errors. Of course, the letter I has to be capitalized because that word is always capitalized and it's the first one in the sentence. I can't believe, oh, we're missing this apostrophe. We're going to talk about those later. I can't believe you eat broccoli with ice cream. That's not a question. If we have a question mark there, we'd have to read it like this. I can't believe you eat broccoli with ice cream? No. We are showing our surprise. So we use the exclamation mark or the exclamation point. This was a tougher one. How many did you get correct? Make sure you write all of the correct sentences on your paper too. And that is the end. And by the way, I don't mean to say that broccoli is bad. Actually, I like broccoli. It's good for you. And I eat it all the time. So I hope all you broccoli fans aren't too upset about the last example. It's true that I wouldn't eat broccoli with ice cream. But I might eat broccoli and then have some ice cream. How's that? All right, Mr. Broccoli. Have a great day.